Hey you guys, King Link 86 AK Marine. Welcome to another reaction video of self-care and also part of McJugger Nuggets. Now guys, pay a visit to McJugger Nuggets Cameraman Competition. Wow, guys, she's actually gonna be able to do this. And also, guys, I did watch part of the um, the cameraman competition, which says Karen confronts confronts me about the stolen bag of money. Now, guys, I'm gonna do this um, separately, okay? So you'll see at the end of the video because at the end of the video, it's it's uh, legitimate. But I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna watch parts of the Juggernauts because I watched all of it, guys. Basically, it's just the same thing of the cameraman. You know, we've seen Jay Gates, we've seen the Regenis, and we've seen Migs, everybody. But this one I, I'm most uh, concerned about. So let's take a look. Hey guys, I mean, I'm here at the office. See, Lisa's here. I'm going to head in and talk to Lisa and my mom about how they're feeling about Jesse's little housewarming video. Don't know if they saw it or not, but I am going to bring it to their attention because we have some new information to go over. So, let's okay. get in. Lisa? Mom? Yeah? Where are you? We're on the phone here a minute. At 8 o'clock. Hi. All right. How are you doing? Um, not so good. Hey. Hi. Hi. Um, so have either of you watched Mr. Ridgeway's latest video from the housewarming party the other day? No, no, no. I didn't get to watch it. No. I was going to, but I didn't get a chance. Okay. What's going on? You know what? Um, I think before I say anything, you may want to watch some of it. Because you both missed a very crucial part of the day. And uh, I think you should take a look. So why don't you go ahead and pull up Mr. McJugger Nuggets channel right now. Okay, why are you upset? Yeah, What's just going on? Trust me. You're go ahead. Head. Yep. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and, and take a look. You want me to pull it up? Yes, hey. please. What, he filmed something that he wasn't supposed to? Oh, Lisa. You know, he does that. He's very spontaneous. He does a lot of things he shouldn't. I, I really thought through this process that he was maturing some and becoming more responsible. Let me know when you got that up. I would like to get your true reaction to what yeah. you're about to okay. see. I want you to oh I want you to see it for yourself. There it is. The housewarming. Yes. Is that what you want us to put on? Yes, please. All right. And make it big so we can see it nice and big on the screen. I think you could hit that little square. Yes. Can you tell we're really up on the um, things? For this? Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? This is the beginning. This is not the juicy part. Um, if I'm not mistaken, fast forward to about one hour and 24, 25 minutes, something like that. Oh, look at him. There he is. Mr. Blue Eyes. Yeah, he no, didn't guys. see himself that day. Oh, no. No. It did seem different. Okay, let, let's pay attention here. No. Some guy dressed in black. I noticed he was, like, looking at stuff tonight. Like, he was looking at cabinets. What? Somebody was at the party? Like, there's stuff, but there's a guy all in black with black hat. He looks a little Italian. What guy? No. I'm telling you, the guy's looking around in your stuff. Um, oh my gosh. Somebody was casing the joint? Yeah. So when you watch the whole video, you'll see. He was near us all. Is that right? He was? Yep. You, you're going to see in my video as well. Dressed in black? All in black, leather, hat, all looking around in his stuff, walking right behind us. Nobody else saw him? I mean, I assumed he was a guest. He was a little scary looking, but. Oh, oh. Here we go. Oh my god. Where's the bag? The bag. Pay attention. Where is the bag? Where we go? Somebody took a bag from the house. <gasps> oh no. You mean my bag, like my suitcase? Do you see my face? Yeah. No, I'm being dead serious. Somebody took a bag from the house that's not here. A leather bag, a whole maroon, and it had a strap. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> What do you mean he's got a bag that the guys were asking about? Does that sound a little too close for comfort to okay. you? Okay. Where's the bag? In my room. Yeah, you were saying my room bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Okay, you can you can turn okay, this wait. off because I'm going to vomit. Oh, oh. Well, we're going to watch this later because we're going to see. You need to watch the whole thing when you have time. It is two hours long and it sure reveals a lot. But that was just the part that I thought you may find interesting because you both were not there. 
And we were asked about the same color bag, and I told Jesse that we were asked about this bag, and I told him that I got that threatening phone call from the Joe gentleman, which I wonder if that was the Joe that was at oh, the mom. party. Oh. So we could have been in harm's way the other night and would have never known. And what do you think? What do you think about this? The guys, I, man. I feel like I want to throw up. I mean, I trusted him. The guys, man, were here. Yeah, they were here <coughs> before, but oh, I mean... Boy. Jesse said he did nothing about it. He's he lying. lying. Oh, you have to go back and watch the day you guys kicked him out of here. You'll see. He had it on his on his shoulder the whole time. <gasps> That's right. Yeah. That's you right. complimented. He bought a bag for himself. I didn't even think yeah. about it. You complimented it. him I, on I, it. I remember, I remember the bag. It was a really nice bag. You ready to know what's in the bag? Because that's also something. You know that what's I in heard. the bag? Yep. Now I know what's in the bag. Why do you know what's in this bag? What do you know what's in it? There are a few hundred thousand dollars. Oh my god! In this bag, we had that. They were freaking hiding it up here. They were hiding it here. We're in the building every day. Are they nuts? Are they crazy? Yes. You're making us. All these men are crazy. They're gonna think we took it. Mom, this is not good. They are gonna. We need. Guys, I don't know. What's up with that? What, I don't know what. Okay, wait, wait. We got these guys. They hide it up here, right? Who yeah, knows how long, it up right? Here. We don't even know. We don't right? know. He down. stays up there, finds it, right? Is that right? That's right. All that's documented in his video as well. You mean they show one of his videos? All his. He has like few of them, right oh, under our nose. I think. Right under. Right under. So our nose. we took him in. We gave him a place to stay. We treated him like our family. So this is all the people that call calling us, right? Yeah, they've been saying something about. They've been that. trying to tell us. All we the fans really are really trying to watch out for us. Thank you for the fans. Yeah. I'm devastated because I really trusted him. I really. You did. really cared about him a lot. I know Damn. it. You took him like. Now, now oh, they feel like something. Right? They're hanging around with the wrong people, right? Right. He's in the wrong people. He's the wrong people. Exactly. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm heartbroken, man. I'm really heartbroken. Oh Why should I tell him nothing? Oh, my god. Okay, where are we? Okay, we're in your office. The door's closed. Okay. Yeah. We can't tell nobody. I know. This has right. to stay in this room. People know. Okay, listen. We can't tell anybody. Millions of people know. Of course. He put it on YouTube. Oh. What the hell is he thinking? We're in trouble. We're all in trouble. I have a little bit of an idea. You do? I'm going to go talk to him on Saturday. Okay. Saturday is the cameraman challenge. Or actually... Oh, the audition. The audition. Right. Correct. My swiftest lead. The <laughs> cameraman audition is Saturday. I think I'm going to Man, show up as if I'm trying out because he asked me, you know, hey, mm. girls can mm. try out. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Um, oh, so boy. I think I'm going to go. Mm. And I'm going to talk to him about all oh, this. Oh, man, you better be careful, girlfriend. No, I'm going to do it there because it's in the public. There's lots of people there. And he can't lie to me anymore in front of all of those people. I don't know so about that. So I'm going to make sure that I go with somebody else that can film it and make sure that oh. I get his reaction on film for all of you. Mm. Uh, I will oh, not be oh, lying mm, to him. Mm, mm, mm. Anymore. I'm getting nervous now. My stomach yeah, me hurts. Too. Oh. Dude, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Do you think this is a bad idea? No, you need to do this. No. I know, but he lied to you. I know, but I'm self care and I'm a nice person. And I, even though he's wrong, he lied even to people me. That are nice, and he they freaking took the bag out of mom's up. office. I'm still worried over. about him because he's here working, trying to find a new camera person. And, I, and you believe that I am having second thoughts about going in there? He deserves it. He does. Let's do this. No, because... All right. He lied to you. Follow me in. Let's do this. Wow. A real YouTuber... Oh. Oh. Wow, a real YouTuber is actually going to confront the gender this. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh. I'm a camera woman, camera woman challenge. Where do I go? Excuse me, do you have a reservation? No, he, he doesn't know I'm coming. I'm here for the challenge. Oh. The camera woman challenge is, is what? Right, right, right. It's compet
Oh boy. Hey! Hi! Oh, you're an audition? No, not. Jesse. I waited to talk to you so I didn't embarrass you in front of your whole party. Plus you were drinking and stuff and you can't reason with you like that. Hold up, wait, slow down. So what, what do you... Listen to me. You lied. You lied right to my face when I came and asked you about this bag. You took it, now you lost it. Now I'm in trouble, my mom's in trouble, and you're gonna be in trouble. Awkward. Oh. Awkward. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? You put me on blast right now, we're trying to do these auditions, so I don't know. I don't, I don't care, my life is at risk here. I don't know what you want, I don't know where, I don't know where it is, I don't know what happened to Why it. Why did you lie to me? You're supposed to be my friend. I helped you with the house. You helped me with my channel. We've become friends. Why would you do this to me? Awesome. Over money. Yeah. Please say something. It's a something. lot of money, and I was buying a house, so yeah, it matters, and I found it, so. Yeah, but it wasn't yours. I don't want to tell people. Obviously, I can't tell somebody that. I care about it's you. Obvious that you my don't mom trust took people. you in and let you stay at the office. You can't treat people like this. I feel bad for Brian. He's wearing a red dress. I'm sorry. Now what? What are we gonna do? I'm sorry. Now we both have a big problem. It's out of my hands. I don't have it. Well, it's our problem now. We have to find it. This is a serious issue. Like my life is at risk. I don't know what you want me to do. I, I drank a lot that night. I don't know where it went. I don't know what. It's not my thing anymore. You lied to her. I guess I expected more of a reaction from you. Like you don't seem to give a crap, really. Of course, I give a crap, but there's nothing I can do. The money's gone. Okay, the bag got taken. I mean, Sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Like, no. I didn't mean to. No, you did. No. I'm just like, I don't know. Karen, I look, I'm, I'm serious. I don't know where it is. If you need, what do you, you need help? Yes. What do you want me to do then? I don't know. We have to find it. All right, well, I'm going to do the whole thing here, so. I like you, I'm not acting. Now guys, I'm going to show you the part um, at the end of that video. I did watch it, guys. It's just, uh, we see the same people that went on the competition, the J Games. That's everybody. crazy. You did. You didn't even seem to really care too much. No. No. We lost I guess it's up to us. I mean, Mom and money, I, so Lisa, we're, we're just going to have to stick together and... Maybe they'll, they'll give us a chance. They'll, they'll, they'll watch his video, they'll watch mine, they'll see that it wasn't us that actually took him. They thought he was on my side. They thought he was a friend. Let's just go. Oh, okay. so you're gonna, she's gonna show the video to the guys? That means they're gonna go to his house. So that's not good. Well, he took the money, guys, but I think Jesse's going to... don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying to make her laugh, but... Are you okay? That was a lot. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not... I'm just, like, emotionally drained. That was crazy. That was, like, a real... Moment. I don't know. Maybe he'll reach out and he'll call me and we can talk about it. I mean, I'm sure you guys will. I'm sure he's going to reach out. That can't be the end. It can't be the end. Maybe he was a little embarrassed because I blew him up right in front of the family, like his whole family. Yeah. And Michael was there and Brian. I mean, yeah, I'm not normally like that where I just go in and start causing a scene in front of all these people. 
it had to be done. But I had to channel my inner Wonder Woman. Like, I had to be strong and confident. Yes. Every woman should be like that. I preach yes. that every day. Take care of yourself. <coughs> Take care of the ones you love. Be strong and confident. Yes. Every day. Amen. You can't let people walk all over you. Yes. It's fine to have a big heart and to love people, but you have to know when to draw the line. Amen, I guess, guys, I'm going to close off this video right now. Remember my advice. <coughs> take care of you in order to take care of others. That's number one. Please subscribe with that bell. I'll keep you along for the journey. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's kind of crazy around here, actually. I haven't been in this area in a long time. Us women have to stick together. That's right. That's right, right? Mm -hmm. We have a strong right. mother who taught us that. That's right. Don't need a man. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, that's part of that. Hey, Karen did the right thing. But if he's going to show the show the guys the video of Jesse having the bag, that means they're going to go over to his house. So that's bad. So, guys, I did watch the camera, cameraman competition. But at the end, it, it was important because it involves this. So I'm going to put that on. Put that on. Well, guys, here it is. This is the part where uh, they're on Mo on the on the cameraman contestant, and um, <coughs> he's asking him about trust. Trust. He's gonna, it's going to come up soon, but now Jesse's going to have a hard time asking this question. So take a watch. I remember you used you you were Sorry, one of the guys that were using his phone to film before, right? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, trust is a big thing. Um, yeah, you know, you don't, you don't want, uh... You don't want what? You don't want you what, Jess? No, no, when, when, uh, you know, sis leaving, and, you know, we don't want somebody who lies. Uh, because, uh, uh, you know, crashed the party. you become really like close you friends. Yeah, you had friends, and you just grew it. Become really close friends with, you know, whoever, um... Here we go, guys. You help people out with videos, or build a channel up, and then people lie to you. Yeah. yeah um, see that? Now Jesse, just trust a very important thing. See that? He just blasted that on Jesse. Yeah, they'll lie to you. So, Sometimes you lose friends, you know? Um, fuck, I just... I think I just lost a friend. Yes. You so. Oh. And we're not talking about Swift. Well, Swift, we lost another friend. We lost two friends, Swift and yeah, Karen. We need to straighten it out. There we go, there's guys. A bag, there's a bag of money. It was so much money. How much money? It didn't belong to you. I don't even know. It was like wads of like tens, twenties, thirty. Like it was at least over like six figures. Where was this money? What are you saying? There was a bag of money in the realtor's office that I had found, and I nobody knew about it, so I just took it and just grabbed and just held on to it. You had this on camera. You took a bag of money. Nobody. And knew. where'd you keep it? Oh boy. In the house. That's what it was. You kept it in my house. It's my side of that. No idea where it came from. It doesn't oh matter. It's his, it's oh my his god, house. what? Where is it now? It's and it's she comes side. in crying? They're at the party, somebody took it. I don't know. Oh, someone stole a bag of money from your... Yeah. Are you kidding me? I feel sorry for Mo. Are you freaking kidding me? He's standing... Are you not freaking out about this? A you bag know, of money was stolen? You, have yeah, you talked to anybody you know? that was at the party? Yeah. Nobody, nobody seen anything. anything. Now, if you guys noticed, you notice that Jesse is not even worried about it. <clears throat> well, here's the thing, guys. He, I guess knowing that uh, he stole the, he stole the money, and it, you know it was like a big burden. Think about it, guys. I mean, you have Jeffrey in the house, you got the Regenis squad, and then um, and have a lot of people come over. I mean, he he was really uh, dead set on hiding this money so nobody would find it. So that's why he's not worried anymore. Because it's out of his hands. But I hate it when he said it's on my side of the house. But you guys should share the house because it's both your guys. Well, it's Jeff Jeffrey's house, actually. Oh, wait a minute. 
I stopped, yeah, I stopped right there when they uh, talked about it, but I wonder what Jeffrey's going to think now that if he had all this money, Jesse should have helped pay for the house. Ugh. Where did you keep it? I don't know what I would describe it as. It's a little freaking midget hole. What? The little midget hole in the door, small door, like a loop would go through. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people got thrown <laughs> <clears throat> it could have been anybody. Yeah. I can't believe you didn't tell me that. Anyway, uh, Mo, so yeah, we trust, it's trust thing, right? Of course. Trust thing. We need to be able to trust you. So, uh, can we trust you? Of course, man. We've been friends for two years, man. I was after your back. Oh, yeah, man. Um, what do you guys think of Mo? I like Mo. I always have. Oh, like has a back uh, yeah. I, have, I have concern with Mo. Well, because I, I saw that you got gays, right? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. 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 Oh, thank you. It's yeah. awesome, dude. But it's like, you know, if you go to travel, we'll know. Yeah, you'd be able to travel. There might be a lot of traveling this year. Of course, man. Specifically, really, we're going to uh, Japan for four and a half months. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Thanks for coming out, man. Japan. We'll be in touch, man. Hey, you might see Godzilla. Good scene, man. <laughs> yeah, always. Nice to meet you. Keep it rigid. Keep it rigid, man. Yeah, keep it rigid. That's a good point. So we're gonna keep it rigid, close off the video. Thanks for joining the first day of Cameron competition. We'll see you tomorrow for another full round. I can't believe you. Love you all to death, and don't forget to keep it rigid. Jesse, somebody stole a bag of money out of your house. Why are you not calling the police or something? What is Not only that, you found a bag of money to begin with and didn't tell anybody. Because then people are gonna want some of it. Well, no kidding, it's stolen now. It's not stolen, it wasn't anybody's. I found it uh, behind a bookcase. <laughs> and you took it. And it's not yours. And we could have used it for sword fire, like we talked about. You took it from a place that wasn't yours. Like, what? Oh, I just realized that, yeah, you stole it from the... It was covered in hay and dust, and it was under a table. It looked like it hadn't been touched in years. Oh, they hid God. it. That's why they hid it. Why would they let it? me stay up there where all that money is? Because kind of they didn't know about it, oh, so therefore, God. if I find it, it's mine. Okay, I'm getting it now. If you found buried treasure, are you going to be like, whose buried treasure is this? No, then it's why yours. Why would you I would keep it. it. I'm just saying... Like, right. Uh, of course, I keep it. Obviously. Of course, you would keep it. Yes. What do you mean, like an insult? You did keep it. Right. So don't get on my ass. I'm, not, you I'm, would, I'm annoyed that you're. I like, would have gave you something. You're I not know. more upset that somebody stole this from your house. How am I just finding out about it now? I am upset. We should be looking I for it. I can't believe. When did you find? You said you were. Oh. You had that money when we settled on the house. Yeah. So I put my finances on the line when you had it. This oh, whole but you time. want me to use stolen money somehow? Look, everyone is easy to talk shit, but like if you found a bag of money, you would want the money. You would keep the money. I would want you ask any, that all first. of these guys coming in here. You, you ask any one of yourself. them. You want to ask every guy tomorrow when they come out? If you had a bag of money, if you found a bag of money, would you keep it? Yeah, they're all gonna say yeah. No. You it's find no. a bag of money, you keep it, you tell no one, then you kept it selfishly, and then didn't even use it selfishly. Right. That makes no sense! Alright, dude. That is true. Just out here. Come on the line for his mortgage payment. Oh, I understand. Oh my god. And he could Cut. Cut it. Well guys, you know, Jesse made a good point. I mean, if if you find a bag of money. Well, let's let's talk about let's talk about this uh, uh, strategically. Now, if you found a bag of money like in the forest, and um, look, if you find it in a for if you find a bag of money in the forest, would you keep it? Yes, I would. I would say yes. I would keep it myself. If you if you found a bag of money <coughs> buried buried underground, would you keep it? Yes, I would keep it. If you if you found a, a bag of money in a realtor's office where they allow you to stay, would you keep it? No. Now, that's, that's why I said no. This is what Jesse doesn't understand here. He found a bag of money. It was buried under hay. Yes, we all saw that. It was buried under hay. Yes. There's a reason why, because someone hid it there. How, for him to say that it looked old, looked like nobody knew it was there. But 
you're in a realtor's office and it, it if so if if it's there it's there for a reason there's always a reason why somebody would put a bag of money and hide it under hide it under it and hey even that little sliding door they found like, like how he had found it like it found it like like it was I don't know guys maybe it's just me I mean now look it's like it's like what just I like how Jesse's trying to uh mix lies with the truth here if you found buried treasure would you tell me no because it's yours. Yeah, but this is not a buried treasure. This is a bag of money that you found in a realtor's office. And what's funny is, guys, they actually put – he actually put that section of Karen's video of these guys looking for the bag of money, and he didn't care. He's like, uh, is anyway, hey, finders keepers, guys, right? <laughs> and we've seen him put them – hide the money away and everything. And we've seen how he she asked him about the money. And he said no. You know, if they were friends, he would actually be honest with her. That's the thing about it, guys. It, it's like what Karen said before. Never try to be too nice to somebody because they will take advantage of you. I should know because I've done – I've been that way. I was always nice and I let people walk all over me. That This was like went back when I was in high school. But I didn't, like, I didn't do that anymore. So – this is exactly what's going on with Karen, because Jesse lied to her, lied to her face, and said that no, I didn't find a bag like that. I actually, it was funny. Like I said before, I actually thought he was with that green duffel bag with the, from the, the shaving uh, club. I thought he was going to put the money in there, and so he'd be able to get the bag back to them. But nope, he did not do that. But now, guys, here's the thing. We seen that guy, we know that guy was walking around looking opening doors doing this and that on, Je on at Jesse's house looking for something. And we, and we know it's him. He's the one who stole it, but he believes it's it's somebody else. One of his family members or some of his friends who took it. But we all know who took it actually. Sorry guys, my allergies are kicking my ass. But anyway, I like Well guys, here's the thing. We we know he's the creator. He's the devil right now because he he's still wearing – he's wearing the necklace, yes. Um, but um, the one thing about the devil here I, – I, this is just folklore. It's just I, – I just read – I just want to say it because it's cool. And also I see it in movies. He also – the devil, he's a prince of lies. And he also mixed lies with the truth. You know that whole if you find the bag of money – uh, I mean, if you find a buried treasure, would you tell anybody? No, that th that doesn't make sense. I mean, we're talking about a bag of money that was in a realtor's office that they allowed you to stay in that room, and yet you took advantage of it and took it. I was surprised that Karen actually shown the video to Lisa and her mom, and hopefully with this video, that she said that she's going to show the video to the guys. <coughs> so if those guys did get the money back. And they're gonna yell at them. I think Karen is actually going to uh, tell uh, tell them to watch this channel and say he was the one who had it. So this is not good. And I like on the video part he has asked to marry a woman out on a date. This is where where he had the money. He actually said that he with that money he feels confident and he can get anything he wants. And of course, nope, couldn't get a date. And then the money was gone in the housewarming party. So look, and and that's the way the cookie crumbles, like they say. So, guys, I, I'm sorry I did not watch the whole. I watched. I watched it. I watched the whole Karen competition at my job. I was also listening to it while I was also listening to it. What listening to it at my break time? Watched it and listened to it. I watched it over and over. I was skipping on the on the on the contestants and the competitors. And Malachi, he, I like how Jay Gaines pretended to be Malachi. That was cool. Uh, all I can say, guys, look, I'm sorry I did not react to the whole thing. The next video that's coming out, I will react to it, okay? I promise. It's just that that was a long video. But the, the one that I wanted to see the most on was Karen. So <clears throat> that's why. So this is a mixture of both self-care and maternity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. Now, guys, I like I said, I apologize for not reacting to the whole thing, but it's just that it was the same people, and I and 
Now that we've seen how Jesse said that if you found a bag of money, would you keep it? But you have to add details on where you found the money. And and you took it from some people who actually let you stay at the place. So I will react to that. I have a feeling that he will do that. So he will ask the questions. That simple question. If you found a bag of money, would you take it? But it depends on where you found it. If you found it in the woods, you can keep it. If you found it underground, you can keep it. If you found it in a in a hole in a pipe, you can keep it. If you find it in somebody's house, you don't keep it because it's theirs, and you're stealing it. And you and here's the thing: you don't know who you're stealing from. That's always the problem. <laughs> and a lot of people would want money. Well, <laughs> it's funny how he kept it to himself, but he didn't tell his brother. He used all of his brother's money to buy that house, and he didn't chip in. He wanted the other houses. He wanted the Muhammad Ali house. We all remember that. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction gameplay. play. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. So, guys, the next cameraman competition, round two, that's a video coming out, I will react to it, and I will be prepared. But I will be – I have a feeling that – well, on Friday and Saturday, I'm working 2 to 11. So, despite that, I won't be able to do it until I get home. So, mm. I will I, I will watch it and I will give my uh, background on what how I feel on that. So well, we'll find that out. I'm sure I'm sure this video is coming out next week, so we'll see soon enough. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching and don't forget, like I always say, stay positive and <sighs> I feel bad for Karen. A nice girl she that this is the guy that helped her with her channel and he just lied right in front of her. I don't know. I've never heard of a bag. It's funny how he ha he was showing the bag right in front of their face, and they didn't say any. And it's like he was gloating on it. He, but it's funny how his, the money's gone, and he's not worried about it because it wasn't his. He knows deep down that it wasn't his uh, bag of money anyway. You know, guys, like it's like that saying I said before. If something's too good to be true, then it probably is. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget, like I always say, stay positive, and you know what? How about you answer this question? I've answered it. If you found a bag of money, would you keep it? But it depends on where you found it. Like, okay, guys, if would you keep the money if it's in a forest, in a hole in the ground, in a pipe, out of nowhere? Or, like, or if you found a buried treasure, would you keep it? Of course you would. But here's the thing. If you found a bag of money at a, in a realtor's office where you're staying – where they're allowing you to stay, would you keep it? Answer that question. All right, guys. Stay positive.